This Fleet Equipment unscripted interview is presented by Hendrickson, a leading manufacturer of heavy-duty suspension systems and components to the global commercial transportation industry. Visit hendrickson-intl.com to learn more. Hey everyone, Jace Morgan, Content Director for Fleet Equipment. Welcome to Fleet Equipment Unscripted. We are at the Kenworth headquarters in Kirkland, Washington. We are gonna talk with Jim Wallenzak, Kenworth General Manager and PACCAR Vice President about all things going on in the trucking market right now from the Kenworth Super Truck 2 to zero emissions, to regulation, how it's impacting fleet customers and relationships. So come along, let's see what we can learn. Jim, thank you for taking the time. Thank you for the opportunity. It. Good to meet you. Good to meet you too. I want to dive right into it. I think the last time that I saw Kenworth was at Act Expo, okay. walk around Super Truck 2, which was very cool. I got to say, I was surprised by the design, I think, from Kenworth. Very forward, very bullet train esque. Right. Really, right. probably one of the coolest trucks on the show floor there. Right. When you're, when you're approaching that project and your team's approaching that project, what, do you, what does that say about how Kenworth thinks about developing truck technology and equipment? Right, yeah, super exciting show for us and it's a super exciting launch for the Super Truck 2. Innovation, I think, would be the the word I'd use to describe the project. Mm -hmm. um, very proud of the team. Uh, we, we worked on the project uh, in conjunction with the DOE and split some of the funding with the goal of uh, um, improving freight efficiency 100% and very proud to say that we achieved 136%. Uh, so hit all the targets. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we've been in a, a leader, Kenworth's been a leader in aerodynamics uh, over the years with right. the launch of the T600. So we tried to keep our leadership position in that, in that space around some of the ideas building that product. And yeah, very excited about it. We're gonna use some of the technologies, hopefully that we've learned um, and hopefully be able to commercialize them someday. So very exciting time for us. Yeah, well, and you went the extra mile too. There was a lot of driver innovation. That cab was awesome. Lots of space, the center mounting. Uh, you know, already it's something we're seeing more and more in the market too, the camera vision systems yeah. that were in there. Love that. So lots of cool technology that we're hoping to see. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Natural gas, switching gears on you, because the other big thing here at Kenworth is the availability of the Cummins X15 and natural gas engine. And we're in an interesting time, I think, in the old decarbonization sustainability realm, right? Where there are a lot of possibilities to decarbonize, right? Even if it's not pure zero emissions, uh, you know, natural gas does offer net zero or, right. or net negative emissions reporting if you get into some of the renewable how do you see this evolving now with a new engine offering and how might this be different this time around? Yeah, we're excited for the launch of the 15N. Um, we've had a smaller displacement, displacement engine is the, in the 12 that's been available for a few years, been a little bit limited with where we could put that product. So this will expand the offerings, offering your customers the opportunity to go with natural gas. Um, so yeah, very excited about it. From a, uh, from a regulation perspective, it helps meet some stringent re requirements that are taking place in the industry right now. So any CARB omnibus adopting state will be able to use the 15 and qualify for the emissions. Mm -hmm. Right, and again, well, I'm gonna come back to that one because I think that's an interesting moving target to some right. degree as well. But as you walk through uh, with fleet customers on this. I mean, you think back to the just before the pandemic and then the launch of the battery electric vehicle, right. right? I mean, it just seems like a world difference, yeah. right? So when you're working with customers today, there are regulations that are impacting their equipment options. There's general efficiency pushes that they want to gain, right? Yep. Run a more efficient yep. business. How is working with those customers different today than maybe it was when you're buying a truck in pre-pandemic era? Yeah, as strange as it sound, uh, sounds, as I, I feel like it's brought us closer. Mm -hmm. You know, we've had to work really close with our fleet customers, all of our customers, um, making sure from an education standpoint, they're up to speed with what's required in the industry from a regulation. So we've had, um, I think we've gotten closer um, you know, a lot of our customers have asked for uh, specific presentations to educate their teams, their boards on what's going on to make sure we all know what's coming. A lot of infrastructure discussions around um, what's going forward. But the, the main purpose or goal, I guess, of, of all of those discussions is to make sure we're providing a solution for all of our customers to eat. So there is a lot going on, but and it is different prior to what's happened. Um, but I'd say our relationship is probably closer now because of all of the, the detail we need to share and be up to speed on. Yeah. The high level executive conversation is interesting. We hear a lot about e-consulting on the fleet manager level on once you buy, you need to put the infrastructure in and all that kind of good stuff, at least on the battery electric. Right. You're, you're consulting or presenting at this high level, right? That's, that's super interesting. I assume it kind of just gives them a 
real world look at where you're all out in right. developing technology and then where what they might need to look at and really kind of take seriously at this point. Yeah, I, I, so much has happened so fast and it has changed over time. Um, so there's been a, a lot of requests from some of our big customers to get together more frequently than we usually do mm -hmm. and present. And I think we're making progress. You know, um, we're doing our best to understand exactly what their needs are with respect to sustainability targets that they've set for themselves and what's coming from a regulation standpoint. And then together, we just have to find a solution that works for both of us and, and move forward. But there is certainly a lot happening in the space. Yeah, well, and I do want to come back to that regulations question then too. I know it's kind of a, I don't know, it can be a little murky. There's a lot of reg uh, regulations. There's what's going on in a car, but clean fleet and clean truck. There's EPA, GHG regulations. How do you all see this shaking out? What advice do you give customers on on what they need to do from their equipment standpoint to be right. in compliance? Well, what we're doing here is making sure that we're prepared for every scenario that's that could be coming at us with respect to zero emissions. We have a complete product lineup now that should we should have a product for all of our customers' specific needs in the space. Um, and so from, from a perspective of being sure we're ready for, for all the regulations, we will have the products ready. It's really becoming the discussions becoming about infrastructure and what specific products fits their specific needs. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, we have, we have the vocational segment that's going to be looking at things a little bit differently than the on highway segment and the medium duty segment, you know, some of the the regional carriers and the last mile delivery carriers that are home every night have a different business model and a different need than some of the truckload guys that are running from coast to coast. So right. I think what's important is that we're investing in the technology across the board to have a solution for all of our customers' needs. And we're trying to stay as close as we can with them to make sure that they're educated on what's coming at them. And they know that we can serve and provide the service and support that they need. Well, it's been fantastic having you educate me on what's going on with Kenworth. I appreciate you taking the time. Great. Thanks, Jason. Thank you.